nearly two decades, thousands of people around the world, many spending their entire careers, built the James Webb Space Telescope. And it all comes down to this. Once we launch the James Webb Space Telescope, there are no second chances. We have 300 single point failure items, and they all have to work right. When you're a million miles away from the Earth, you can't send someone to fix it. We've never put a telescope this large in space. To unfold the history of the universe, we must first unfold this telescope. This is the largest primary mirror, the largest sun shield, and the most powerful space telescope ever built. And yet, this large telescope needs to fit inside a 5.4 meter diameter rocket fairing. Got it. Think of what you're doing. You're taking this extraordinarily delicate, precise, state-of-the-art scientific instrument you're slapping it on a rocket, and for the next eight minutes, the explosion from that rocket is following you into outer space. Two weeks. That's how long it would take to fully deploy the Webb telescope. We can take longer if we need to, but those two weeks after launch are going to be nail biters. This is the Mission Operations Center at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. Those two weeks after launch will be like our Super Bowl, World Cup, you pick the analogy. Years of training comes down to these moments. The Webb Observatory has 50 major deployments, 50 depending on how you categorize them, and 178 release mechanisms must work to deploy those 50 parts. Every single one of them must work. Unfolding Webb is hands down the most complicated spacecraft activity we've ever done. Then again, nothing about Webb is easy. We've never done any of this before. There's nothing simple about sending anything into space. You can't do it without taking risks. These huge, iconic, golden segmented mirrors that will help us deliver amazing new images from the cosmos. But in some ways, the sun shield is a lot more complicated, and it's just as essential. Without it, nothing works. Here we've got five sun shield layers of approximately 8,900 square feet, almost the size of three tennis courts, a very thin Kapton material, about one to two thousandths of an inch thick.